Hi, Dan. Leo Laporte, the tech guy. Hi, Leo. It's Dan. Uh, speaking of getting rid of machines, I'm getting rid of uh, my cable boxes. Yes. Hopefully. And I needed yes. your wonderful advice. On uh, I've been reviewing. I even made a chart of various digital analog converter boxes available. We have you older televisions. Oh, you have older TVs. I was going to say you probably don't. Any modern TV does not need a digital converter. Right. Uh, well, my wife. Here's, here's what I would do. Because you're going to, uh, presumably, you're, are you going to just watch over-the-air television, or are you going to also watch Internet stuff? Uh, Leo, basically over the air, and I might add uh, maybe Netflix. From what I've spoken to people in my area that have done this, they get so many channels, some over 70. Yeah, you don't need cable when you're in a city. Exactamente. So, uh, but you may still want DVR capabilities because you're not going to always be watching live, right? Right. For so, the most part, yeah. Always. Oh, that's the thing that I. Uh, that's the other thing I need your expert advice well, on. Here's what I'm. I think I've got an all-in-one solution for you. It's a company called Channel Master at ChannelMaster.com, okay. and it's essentially it's a it's designed for you. <laughs> it's essentially a uh, TiVo for over-the-air broadcast channels got it so okay. it will i'm pretty sure you'll have to look at the bo back of the box but i'm sure they'll have analog outputs for your tv or at least a device that does an analog output right so it hooks up to an antenna they even sell antennas that are suitable for the the frequencies that tv stations are using now indoor and outdoor uh they also sell dvrs they're hard drive you know recorders Mm -hmm. It will act as, in my, I believe, as a di analog to digital converter. It'll pick because it'll take up the over. Uh, or I'm sorry, you want digital analog. It'll take the over the air signal, which nowadays is all digital. And uh, I I want to make sure. Yeah, see, I'm looking at the one box has a HDMI on the back, and that's about it. And that's uh, that's not what we want because that's digital out, and your TVs don't support HDMI yet. But I wonder if they, why wouldn't they? Maybe they do. They sell accessories, sell something that'll let me get the analog out. That's what you need is analog out. Right. Um, or you could buy a new TV. This might be a good <laughs> Well, that's, I'm, I'm trying to get my better half to let me do that. We have a number of them, and at okay, least I so would want to buy. Do just buy this box and say, oh, dear, it doesn't work with the <laughs> TVs. But, uh, Leo, by the way, as you're, as you're doing research for me, I appreciate it. Uh, my, my own research, what confuses me, and you'll probably tell me to ignore it, there are a number of brands out there of digital analog converter boxes, and like anything you buy, a car or whatever, when I go to the review sites that we all know, they're always unhappy campers, and I, yeah. I actually did a breakdown of five-star, four-star, three-star, two-star, one-star, because it went, got so crazy, and looked at the percentages of one-star versus five-star to try to figure out which... Of Good the luck. I saw. See, the problem is a lot. All these boxes you're looking at are Chinese kind exactly. of. Exactly. Oh, now we're getting to the so, maybe the heart of the matter. Yeah, and they're really probably all similar boxes with different looks, slightly different looks, and that, then somebody slaps uh, some American company slaps a label on it, and That's uh, why everyone listens to you, Leo. You, you immediately get to the heart of what's important. Well, they're junky, uh, yeah, and so that's what some of the reviews are. Yeah, they're junky. Um, and, you know, even if you say, well, I'm going to buy RCA, eh, the chances are it's that same Chinese junk. Got and it. they bought the RCA logo. <laughs> they yeah. slapped it on there. So uh, what you need is an a what's called an ATSC tuner. ATSC tuner. ATSC tuner. Uh, and that is a tuner that will take the current over-the-air digital signals, tune them in, because you need to pick a channel, uh, and you'll also have to have an antenna. I presume you either have one or you're thinking about getting one. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm leaning toward uh, the Mohu, M-O-H-U. Okay. I amplified and have, I yeah. have a guy that can put it on. Uh, I never should have gotten rid of, the, of course, our old antenna, which everyone is kicking couple themselves of, in. I'm going to give you a couple of sites you should do your research on. One is antennaweb.org. That's put together by broadcasters and the Consumer Electronics Association. You enter your zip code. It knows what signals you can get. It's a great site. I, I oh, you know I, about it. All right. I, well, I did a lot of research. Yeah, it, you're absolutely right. It's, it's an amazing site. Uh, and then uh, another one is TV Fool. <laughs> great name. TV Fool uh, 
if I mention the full URL, it'll immediately cl collapse because it's not designed for a lot of traffic. I think somebody's okay. just doing it uh, for, for fun. But it has a lot of information that's very useful. Great. I'll try. Very I'm not useful. sure whether or not. Great. And then, and then you need this, um, you know, uh, to get the over-the-air signals. It's no longer NTSC. It's ATSC. Got it. And you need an ATSC tuner. You're not worrying about cable anymore, so you don't have to worry about QAM or any of that stuff. Um, so let me think, uh, where would we get the best? Because I, I really love these uh, channel masters. There's another one called um, HD Home Run. I, I would really think that channel master would have some solution because you can't be the only person doing this oh no as you know better than i this is becoming quite the thing now i mean especially yeah. since uh, my provider was nice enough to again raise my uh, i'm going to be hitting 100 soon just for for uh television hookup and i'm ready to r raise the flag and say stop i know i know yeah you know it's funny i'm see i'm looking at an rca branded ATSC tuner, <laughs> uh, and I and I shouldn't say that this is not good or it's made in China because I don't know, but I do know that General Electric sold the RCA brand off, and it is no longer the uh -huh. Radio Corporation of America. Um, it's called the Really Chinese uh, Association or something. I don't know what it stands for. But, but you hit it on the head, though, Leo. I spoke to an old-time TV guy, and he mentioned a name that I, I don't have it on my laptop as I'm talking to you. And I, I looked at the reviews, and they, there were still people there, you know, saying it's a piece of that and whatever. Yeah. And people loved it, so it probably also was made in China. Everything. Well, that's just where everything's made, though. The TV is made in China. The Everything is. I mean, that's not that's not a knock on it. That's the that's the manufacturing. You know, that's the factory of the world. Um, the problem more is that these are such generic. This is a generic product, and you can see a brand on it, but that doesn't mean anything. It's the same few boxes, different. Well, brands. go to Channelmaster like dot com, like you said. No. I would check out what they've got now. Of course, a lot of companies makes make things that are designed for use with computers, but I don't think you. It sounds like you don't want to do that. I'm tr I yeah. I mean. I prefer. I'm. Uh, I'm excited about going over the air. There's a cost savings. Oh, yeah. I didn't realize how many channels. channels yeah, there's I no reason do. not to go over the air. And then if you get something like a Roku for internet TV, you're kind of golden. The real issue is these old TVs you've got, and we we have to find stuff with analog outputs. You know, compositor component outputs you can use. Leo Laporte, the tech guy.